Meteorites are huge bits of rock that hit the Earth every million years or so. Right? Wrong! In fact, over 14 tonnes of space dust falls to Earth every day. That's two T-Rexes worth a day if you're thinking dinosaurs. And some of it may even be on your street, house or garden. And I'm going to show you how to find some. First, let's see where it comes from. Space is full of rock. Well, I mean, it's mostly space actually, but there's quite a lot of rock there too. There are millions of meteoroids, comets and asteroids all up there. Asteroids are huge chunks of rock, often made of iron and mostly found in the asteroid belt. The clue's in the name, right? That's an area between Mars and Jupiter. Occasionally they collide and send bits off Earthwards. Comets, on the other hand, are massive balls of dust and ice that travel around the sun. And that tail you see is when the ice melts. They too can break off and send stuff towards us. So there's lots of random bits of rock in space, some of which is heading our way. But luckily, when they hit the Earth's atmosphere, they're mostly burnt up. It's only if they land on Earth that they're called meteorites. And almost all meteorites that land are really, really small by the time they make it through the atmosphere. Tiny little molten blobs, only a fifth of a millimeter across. There's so much of this space dust that the whole surface of the Earth is scattered with it. Finding it is just a case of knowing where to look. Luckily, most of these micrometeorites are magnetic. Remember, they come from iron-rich asteroids. So to find them, all you need is a strong magnet, two clear plastic bags, soapy water, and a flour sieve and some outdoor space. I'm here today in my beautiful garden. No, I'm just kidding. I've just borrowed this field for the day. But don't worry, you don't need space this big. You could go to your local park, or you could wander around your neighborhood streets, or you could just try it outside your own front door. So let's go find some micrometeorites. Pop your magnet in your plastic bag, and let's get exploring. Drains are actually a really good place to find these mini meteorites. So what you do, you take your magnet and you just swipe it a few millimetres off the floor and see if you collect any dust. Now, obviously this is a really powerful magnet, so you've got to be careful about what else you might pick up. Collecting all that space dust is a tiring job, but luckily I've got my glamorous assistant, Arena, to help me out. Now, not everything you're going to collect are going to be mini meteorites, but all that matters is you have a really good time getting them. Back to the studio, Arena! So first of all, you take your soap and you pop it in one of your vessels. Add your water and you add your dust. Give it a good old shake to clean your dust. After you've given it a shake, Leave it to sit and the dust will sink to the bottom. Once the dust has settled, you can pour the liquid off into your other vessel. There we go. Then with the dust you have left, take a bit of kitchen roll, pour it on. Then we're going to leave it to dry. Once your dust is dry, what you've got to do is sieve it. Sieve away. Fantastic. Now the reason I sifted it was to get rid of the big bits because the big bits aren't going to be mini meteorites. And then what I have left is my final dust. Now, not all of this, I've got to be honest, is going to be space dust, but some of it may be, which I think is really, really exciting. So I'm going to take my space dust, I'm going to put a little bit of it into my special test tube. Look at that. That is literally out of this world. And this space dust is literally scattered all over the Earth. Scientists collect it, and then when they put the mini meteorites under powerful microscopes, this is what they see. These ones have even traveled all the way from the outer solar system, beyond Neptune. So hold on to yours, and you might just be holding on to a little part of our universe that's come all the way from outer space.